Is your computer a zombie? It's probably not what many may think, in that it's not like these computers are going to hunger for your brains or anything like that. So recently, millions of personal Windows computers turned into zombie machines after they were infected with malware. Malware that was allegedly created by a Chinese national living in Singapore and disseminated on the internet. This malware was distributed as VPN applications. So how do you know if your computer has been turned? A zombie is a computer connected to a network that has been compromised by a hacker, a virus, or a Trojan horse. Once it has been infected and used to send more spam or malware attacks, it has become a zombie. It can be used to perform malicious tasks under the remote direction of the hacker. These can include financial fraud, identity theft, and access to child exploitation material. What may be scary is that most victims are unaware that their computers have become zombies. You can check the FBI website if your IP address is among those that have been compromised. But if you are in Singapore, where access to the FBI website is blocked, here's what you can do. First, check for running services by looking at the Task Manager. Under the Process tab, search for any of these six VPNs. Alternatively, click on the Start menu and type Add or Remove Programs. If a file for any of the VPNs is found, right-click on it and select Uninstall. To remove all associated files linked to the VPN, go into File Explorer. Click on the drive letter C, sometimes labeled as Windows C, and navigate to Program Files x86. Then, look for the malicious software application names in the list of files and folders. If nothing is found, then it is likely that your computer is not affected. Avoid untrustworthy websites and advertisements. Do not download free software or click on any pop-up ads from such websites, as it could lead to malware being installed unknowingly. You should also ignore suspicious emails, which could be phishing emails. Finally, download and use antivirus software. Make sure to keep it up to date to detect the most recent threats, and that should keep you and your computer safe.